When you are logged onto the application portal, you can create an application. You must choose which university you want to apply to. In this case, select the University of Southern Denmark under institution name. Choose the course of study and select master. To view a complete list of SDU's master's programs, leave the column next to the education name empty and press search. Always make sure that you have the correct name and title of the master's program. Several programs may have the same name, but for example, be a business postgraduate program with the same name or different minor subjects. Once you have found the right program, select the box on the left and press move on to creation of application. Only click on permanent residence if you have a Danish permanent residence. Choose your citizenship. For this user, it's already registered as Denmark, but if the column is empty, you can find your citizenship by clicking on the arrow and scrolling down the list. Next, click move on to creation of application. To apply for a master's degree, you need a relevant bachelor's degree, professional bachelor's degree or another degree on the same level. If you have studied for a bachelor's degree at a Danish university, you can choose the university you have studied at and select the box next to the university. The University of Southern Denmark is selected by default, but if you have studied at Aarhus University, for example, you must also select it and click collect data. Only past exam results are collected, so if you're still in the process of studying for your bachelor's degree and the courses that give access to the master's program, you must add them later in the application process. If you are studying for a bachelor's or professional bachelor's degree abroad, then you must upload your bachelor's certificate yourself because it's only possible to collect data via the system if you are studied at a Danish university. Click Next. If you do not have a Danish social security number called CPR number, or have not studied at a Danish university, a message is displayed saying that the collection of data failed or that the data on past and incomplete education have been obtained but will not be displayed until your identity has been confirmed by the educational institution. So you can easily create and submit your application still. Please fill in your personal information and click Next. Choose the location where you want to study. If, for example, the master's program is available in Odense only, there are no other options. If you're not currently studying for a bachelor's degree at STU, select No in the column and click Next. If we have obtained information about your educational background, your degrees will appear below, but it's also possible to add additional information about your educational background. If you have not obtained any information about your educational background, you must fill in the boxes below. Please submit your documents, such as your bachelor's certificate, a printout of your past results, or a list of the courses you are registered for if you have not yet completed your bachelor's degree and the course registrations do not appear on your transcripts under completed academic degrees and or in progress academic degrees. Transcripts created by using the collect data option will not show the course registrations. If you do not submit any documentation, we will not be able to include the courses in our assessment of your application. Some bachelor's program may be directly admissible for a master's program. This is referred to as a legal claim. If you have a legal claim for the course of study, click yes. If you are unsure about whether you have a legal claim or whether your course of study gives you access, the information is available under the particular master's entry requirements page itself. Upload documentation for the Danish or English language requirement. Our master programs are taught in either Danish or English. If you have a foreign bachelor's degree, you must prove that you are past Danish level A, Danish high school level or the study examination called Studieprøven. This also applies to Danish citizens. Access to some programs also requires a motivational letter, a CV, etc. We use this to select the most qualified applicants if the number of applicants exceeds the available study places on the program. We always recommend that you have thoroughly familiarized yourself with the entry and language requirements for your desired master's program. 
When everything is filled in correctly, click Next. Now it's possible to view your entire application and the information you have entered. If everything is correct, click Next to go to the next screen where you can send your application. Click Submit Application and a message will confirm that your application has been sent.